time now for our Life and Info segment, where we focus on, on information useful for your everyday life, whether you are in Korea or elsewhere around the world. Last year, some mattresses here in Korea were found to emit dangerous amounts of radon, which is a radioactive substance linked to lung cancer and a number of other nasty diseases. However, a recent study by the Korean government has found that radon levels inside homes are on the uh, decline. I'll park Seyang with more. This family bought a new mattress and furniture for their child and a new couch for the living room. They borrowed a radon detector from the community service center as they were worried of indoor pollutants from the new furniture. When they tested their home, they found that it had radon levels that were higher than normal. Amid public concern over radon gas, the Korean government has been measuring radon concentrations during the winter at homes every two years since 2012 and found that radon levels have steadily decreased. According to the 2018 survey, the average radon concentration of around 7,200 homes nationwide was found to be 72.4 becquerels per cubic meter. Since the first measurement in 2012, the numbers have been showing a steady decline. We've individually notified the subjects of the result and instructed homes with excess radon levels to reduce concentration through ventilation. In 2018, radon levels in just 5.6 percent of the homes measured were above the guideline of 200 becquerels per cubic meter. According to the researchers, the steady decline can be attributed to the improved ventilation habits of the occupants. The number of households that ventilate their homes every day increased by 20 percentage points to 45 percent in 2018, compared to 25 percent in 2012. The National Institute of Environmental Research recommends regular ventilation to reduce the levels of radon and other harmful substances in the home. Park Se-young, Arirang News.